Everybody happy with that? Yes, question. Uh, yes, excellent point. Uh, so the question was, uh, should I have used something, a different subscript besides alpha, because alpha here was general, and you want to pass to something specific? That's the question, right? Yeah, and the answer is, you could do that. It clutters things up a bit, so people traditionally don't, if, if, if it's clear. But if you want to be, make it very, very clear, you might pick a specific alpha, and you, you wouldn't call it I because that makes you think of a countable index. So what you do is you take alpha and you might uh, give it a, uh, make it look different from the generic alpha. Some people might put a, a not, which is also troublesome. Um, or you might put a hat. It, it, it just clutters things up a bit. So that's different from this alpha. Yeah, I see, um, it, it, that is something to worry about. If you like, or, or you might even just call this u sub beta. But then you'd have to indicate that beta is in A. You know. So if you had put half of it, it would be in A. Yeah, that would be clear if you uh, did that. OK, good. How do you prove part B? Help me out here. Let's see. Uh, arbitrary intersection of closed sets is closed. Okay, good. So let's put, put the ingredients together. You could certainly do this directly from the definitions, but we've already done some work. Look, suppose, uh, suppose you have, so, so, let's say that you have a bunch of sets, let's call it uh, B sub alpha, and they're all closed. What's true about the complements of the B sub alphas? Then the complements are open. Let's, oh, I don't know, let's call those u sub alpha. Why not? Then the u sub alpha, which are the b sub alpha complements, are open. Yes? Excellent. OK, help. Use what? Use this lemma, which would apply to what? Yeah, so uh, these are a bunch of things that are open, and the union of a bunch of open sets is automatically open. So its complement is closed, but isn't the complement, isn't this, isn't uh, B, uh, U sub alpha complement just B sub alpha? So use the lemma, noting that um, what uh, u sub alpha complement is closed. Uh, it, sorry, is uh, b alpha. Uh, so that's the right hand side, and the left hand side is basically the complement of an arbitrary union. Uh, then the left hand side of the lemma is the complement of an arbitrary union. And the right-hand side is what? It is the, the intersection, arbitrary intersection <coughs> of closed sets. OK, I'm not going to fit this all in. Arbitrary intersection of closed sets. Ah, sorry. And I'm sure the video is not even capturing this. OK, but that's the, that's the idea. So I'm going to call this proof sketch, because I obviously didn't write things out carefully. Now, I claim C and D are very similar. Um, uh, so I'm going to let you, uh, well, they're not, yeah, they're not similar. D follows from C in a similar way that B follows from A. To establish C, you have to do something slightly different. So let's just do that. 